Hey there Northern Beekeepers, welcome back. It's uh, mid-July, July 13th. Uh, today we're going to look in some of these uh, nukes here behind me. I did some splits a few weeks ago. Um, queen should have hatched, should be laying by now. Going to check and see how they're laying. And just do a general inspection here of my outyard. Um, kind of check things out. You can see the outyard has got quite a bit bigger. I've got 43 colonies out here right now. Started with 11, so doing pretty good making splits and trying to expand the apiary. There's one big hive over here that we'll probably try to see about honey. You can see the tall one over there. Um, the main flow out here uh, on the prairie has not quite fully started yet. We are starting to see some uh, bee balm and some other good plants coming. So that should be happening here pretty quick. I already did pull off one box of honey and uh, just try to give them a little more room. But for the main part, it's uh, not quite fully started yet, but we're getting pretty close. A lot of basswood and stuff is uh, blooming around locally. So anyways, we're going to take a look in some of these hives here. I looked last week. I did see a few virgin queens. And when I did his splits, um, there were a couple of the older queens in there. So we'll kind of have to dig around and, and see what we got. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, we'll uh, dig in here in this first one. <clears throat> I can't remember if this one had a a virgin queen or an older. I guess we'll have a look here and see. I said they should be queens should be laying now, assuming they survive their mating flight. Be looking for sign of eggs or something here. Got a nice, nice frame of honey on the outside. See some eggs in there. Starting to draw out this uh, this comb here. When I made this split, I just kind of put the uh, queen cell in there right away. I probably should have waited a couple days, but it's hard for me to get out to my out yard here. And yeah, a lot of eggs in here. So I can't, like I said, I can't really remember if this uh, this was an older queen or not. Let's see if I can't find her. But we got a lot of eggs. So this one's got a laying laying queen. Some of the older here got new eggs right there. Honey here on the outside. And there's our queen right there. Nice looking girl. So this one's good. I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll give these guys another uh, another box on top here after the video stops, just to give them a little more room with the flow coming up. Make sure they don't get any wild ideas about swarming on me. When I've been running these five over fives, you know, space is a 
the premium, so you gotta always be on top of them. Just to make sure they don't they don't want to swarm. So we'll check out this next colony. This one I gave them a box last week. They really didn't need it. But uh, I always want to try to be ahead of what they got going on. They're not really doing anything in this top box right now. See the top box, they really haven't touched it, they just started working on it. So, seeing how this bottom box is full, I'll probably move a frame up to the top. Just do a little manipulation here. Get them motivated to start moving in the top box. I don't know how other people are, but at certain times of the year, the last couple years, I had a more difficult time of getting new queens mated just because of the predator pressures. Um, this July time frame, I've had pretty good luck. Um, late June, it seems to be tough for me. It seems to have a lot of, a lot of pressure. I haven't got many queens back during that time. I'm not sure really what it is, but <clears throat> during those couple weeks there, my success rate goes way down. So I'm not seeing any eggs on this side of the frame. I am seeing some over here. There she's uh, back filling where they've hatched, right in here. So that's a good sign. Look at uh, another frame there. There's the queen there. There she is right there. Right on the edge. And this frame here is pretty well loaded with eggs. So she's just started laying here in the last couple days. So that's, uh, that's pretty awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move one frame up to the top box, try to draw some more bees up there, so they start drawing some comb, <clears throat> and uh, add a, an empty frame down here to the bottom, they'll start drawing on that this week. When I come back next week, you should see a lot more drawn comb up in this box. And we'll try to get these drills built up before winter because uh, anyone here in the North Country knows winter comes pretty quick. You know, we could have our first frost here in two months, so we don't have a lot of time to get these drills built up. But anyways, that's a quick check here in a couple hives. Appreciate everyone watching. Subscribe. Pass it along.
Everyone have a good B weekend. Thanks.